My mom has had her dogs for four years now, and they really mean everything in the world to her. She had recently moved down here to Florida, and uh, she, she brought them with her, and those are her babies. Part of the Pet Peace of Mind program is to determine what happens next when a patient either can no longer take care of their animals or if they pass away. Sharon was very forthright about her time and that she knew it was very limited and yes she did have a plan for both her, her dog Shelby and Yogi. She was not able to have them really groomed or cared for in the last two months of her life because of her illness. I asked if we could make sure that they were all vaccinated, up to date, have flea medicine, and be really ready to travel and go back to their new home. The program's incredible. It really surprised me everything that they offer as far as the pet care and the grooming and veterinarian care. It, it just, I was completely amazed that this existed. She was so happy that she could have them in the hospice room with her. It actually says they can spend 23 hours if you have someone to be there with them. This is the most wonderful program I have ever encountered. Pet Peace of Mind has helped her to know that her, her babies would be taken care of until I could come and get them. If there's not a Pet Peace of Mind program, families may not take into consideration what happens to those pets in an early enough stage. And they wind up not being placed with friends or family. They wind up in shelters. It's a tragedy when that happens. I have a lot that I'm dealing with, but I know that I can take her puppies and I can make them happy.